would like to start to, to start from from uh, from the back, mm -hmm. and I like to to say that we need you today. We as eye doctors really are now needing your help. That's because uh, since some years, fortunately, we have uh, new treatments available for uh, many retinal diseases, as you know very well. Age-related macular degeneration, retinal vein occlusion, uh, diabetic retinopathy are all diseases that today can be treated very well using uh, new drugs. These new drugs are expensive. So when we try to convince our administrators that we need financial help to have these new drugs available for our patients, it is a difficult war because they do not want to give money to somebody else like an eye doctor. They are used to give money to oncologists, to rheumatologists, to hematologists, so to other specialties, and the pie is the same. So if we would like to sit down there and discuss with them to have more money for us, they will not be sensitive and they will try to convince you that you don't need it. So whenever you have this discussion with your administrators, you need the help of patients. If you don't have patients behind you, you will not be able to convince the administrator that they need to give to eye doctors money to treat their patients. They do not want to share the pie. And the other doctors don't want to share the pie with us. So the reason why you are becoming more and more important for us as eye doctors is that you will be able to help us to convince the administrators that the eye doctors need money as the others. We didn't do that before because we were doing only cataract surgery or something which was not so expensive. And you know, that cataract surgery is one of the best things that you can do to a patient because you do your surgery, the patient is very happy. You did once and that's all. And this is completely different. We are now speaking about some degenerative disease which needs to be treated for many years, for a long time. So you need the financial help and you need to make this change in the mentality of our administrators. Clear? <laughs> any, any point? Okay. So we really need you. Please take this into consideration because if we are together, we will be able to, to give you more than, than before. And uh, uh, I think this is important to be yeah, remembered, no, Narinder. Sure. And I think that this is the, the way to move. I mean, uh, you need to move in this direction together with us. And this is only the start because in the near future we will have other drugs, other uh, principles which are able to improve the evolution of these diseases. You know, we are living much more than before and uh, this is changing the reality. We have a lot of degenerative diseases uh, to fight against. And, uh, uh, you know, there is the, the president of the uh, WHO, the, the, the World Health Organization, he did his report some years ago. He was uh, Nakajima. <laughs> and he wrote that uh, we as doctors did a huge effort during these last decades. Uh, now the, the, the humans are able to live much more than before. But if we will not be able to, to improve the quality of life of our patients, uh, we did a very bad job because it, maybe it's better to live less in a good way instead of living more in a very bad way. And this, for example, must be remembered when we talk to the administrators, they would like to give Avastin, for example, to patients with an oncologic problem and by Avastin they can live some months more and that's all. It's a, a, a terminal patient, it's a very bad quality of life, but the administrator is convinced that this is important. 
maybe we need to convince them that maybe it's more important to avoid visual loss in these patients. And maybe the financial effort can be done for saving sight instead of giving some months more of a bad quality of life. Anyway, these are really very difficult topics, but we need you in order to discuss them in a very efficient way. Okay, so uh, starting from that, I'd like to, to present you now uh, these two trials. These are uh, two very important trials, the CAT and Ivan trials. These are two studies that we needed for a long time. And uh, these studies are uh, aimed no, no, no problem. Uh, these studies are aimed to evaluate if there is any significant difference in the efficacy of two different drugs. I think you know very well the story. Uh, one is uh, Lucentis and the other one is Avastin. Lucentis was conceived for the eye and it's more expensive and the other one is Avastin. It was conceived for treating uh, some tumor and uh, gastrointestinal tumors. Um, and this drug is less expensive if you use it for the eye because you can do a lot of different syringes from the same vial. But in this case, you spend less, but you are using something which was not conceived for the eye. So there is this problem. Uh, this contribution during our last meeting was given by uh, Usha, uh, Chakravarti, who was responsible for doing the Ivan trial in Great Britain. So the most important story of these two trials is the following. These two trials are not sponsored by a company. You know, uh, today, uh, maybe you, 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 you know that we are doing evidence-based medicine, which is the, the new way of doing medicine compared with experience-based medicine, which was done before. Years uh, ago, you, uh, as a doctor, you did your treatment on the basis of your experience. So you were able to do cataract in a certain way. Uh, you used a method, and uh, uh, if you found that it was better to do in a way instead of in another, on the basis of your experience, you were convinced that that was the best way to treat your patients. That's the old way of doing medicine. Then uh, we discovered that you can make a lot of mistakes if you based your medicine on the basis of the experience. Because if you do cataract in the same way for three times, and it's always very good result that you have, and uh, this is the wrong way of doing cataract, you are supposed to continue to do that to, to make your mistakes only because you were not able to discover that on the basis of the evidence uh, you should do it in, in a different way. So today we do trials. That's the reason why we are doing these trials. You have a group of patients treated in, the, in, a, in, a, in a way, another group treated in a different way, and at the end of the story you will try to understand which was the better uh, treatment for these two different groups. So. Uh, for doing evidence-based medicine, you need a lot of money because whenever you start to make a study, you need to have a financial support for doing this study. Because if you would like to evidence that there is a difference between two groups, you need a lot of patients, you need to make a lot of uh, exams, you need to follow them for a long time, and only in this case, after uh, years, you will be able to say, okay, it's better to use this treatment instead of this. But this is expensive. For that reason, today, evidence-based medicine is driven by the companies. Because the companies, the drug companies, are able to support the studies. But independent studies are difficult to be done because we have no money for that. This is a risk. Why? Because the companies uh, have their interest. I mean, uh, if you are the, 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 the employee of a company <laughs> who needs to make a study on a drug, he conceives the study in order to show that the drug is useful. So the study is well done, but at the end of the story, you are moving, you are driving the research in medicine on the basis of the interest of the companies. So 
this is a problem uh, that we need to know and we need to look at the, the, the trials uh, having in the back of your mind that there is this risk. The studies are well done but maybe they are done because they show something which is in the interest of the company. So these two studies are different. The CAT study, the EVAN study, we are not sponsored by Genentech or Novartis or Bayer or uh, Roche or whatever. They were sponsored by independent bodies. And they were the National Eye Institute in the United States, and they were, <coughs> sorry, in Great Britain, an independent body too. So they are two studies which are not supported by companies. So for this reason, they are very interesting. And we must be grateful to the organization that were able to sponsor these studies because it was a lot that we didn't have independent studies in ophthalmology. 